I will cut it. Like I said, super easy. Get your piece prepared. All you want to do is form it, sand it, get it wiped off. Using a cloth, simply rub it into the finish. Let it sit for 12, 24, 48 hours, depending on how many applications you're looking at making. Wipe it away, buff off any excess. If you put on a little bit too much, you're set to go. Any questions? Nice. <laughs> yes? Yes, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Well, but that's the idea because it's not good for your stomach. It upsets everything in your intestines, which flushes everything out. It's exactly. It's not going to get your intestines, but if the repeated exposure, it does end up. Um, if you look at the way that your body absorbs vitamins and minerals, like specifically vitamins A, D, E, and K, so they're not the water soluble vitamins. So as it passes through your intestines, as mineral oil passes through, it almost like it creates a coat on your intestines, which means that your body can't absorb those minerals and nutrients properly. Yeah. If you've already done a, a, a board and you have mineral oil on it, can yeah. you put this on top of it? You could, absolutely, yes. And Can you so, clean it off at all or anything? What's that, sorry? Do you have to clean it first or? Nope, uh, so yeah, we'll just make sure that you wash it off. So as long as the board is clean, you can apply it and you're good to go. Yep. Yeah. This is more of a general interest question, but do the bees make the, the wax? The, the bees wax itself, they do, absolutely. So, so how do bees make wax? So bees actually make the, the wax itself by, it's a byproduct. It's actually kind of weird the way that it works. So if you've ever enjoyed beeswax or honey, whatever the case may be, it's a byproduct of their sweat. So as bees collect nectar and things like that, that, that's what they use in order to create the actual hive itself. And then the beeswax is essentially their sweat that's built up as a deposit there, and it's, it's essentially sugar. So that's what feeds in throughout the winter months. So the beeswax itself is literally just a byproduct of them creating honey. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that uh, key at all? I'm thinking like, like let's say you made a wooden spoon or something like that. It's, it's, it would soften it a little bit, yes. So there are certain applications where you may, where it may be better suited to use strictly beeswax instead. So, and then that's it. So if it's boiling, like if it's a, the melting point of beeswax is about 140, 560 degrees or so. So if the wooden spoon is sitting there for an extended period of time, then the beeswax would potentially melt away. That's fair. Oh, like uh, sir, fair enough. Yes, sorry, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So it would leach out of the whatever What's that, sir? Like if you left the wooden spoon in the hot pot of water, it would leach out of the water. You got it, exactly. But it is a food grade product as well, too, so you don't have to worry about it. Like, you could literally scoop your finger in there and take a bite if you wanted to, and it, you're not going to be affected by it at all. Is it distilled by itself? Locally? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, so I've got some of my business cards up here as well, too. If you are interested in just the liquid coconut oil, feel free. You can pop the email, reach out. Um, and yeah, where we sell it in one. Well, it's the 135 milliliter bottle, a one liter, and a four liter bottle as well. Uh, it ranges, so the 135 ml bottle, I believe offhand, is $8. The one liter is 16 and then the four liter is 58 I believe. Yeah. What, what ratio do you mix your oil with the these mm. ones? That's a good question. Uh, so in general, you can go, so mineral oil and beeswax mix, if you do it that route, you're typically looking at like a three or four to one ratio. Uh, but it really depends on the application. So if you want to have something that's a little bit of a harder finish, you want to go with a, with slightly less oil uh, in comparison. So for us, do I want to give you the exact numbers? No, but I can say it's roughly a three to one. Three parts oil? Yes, yeah, three parts oil and one part beeswax. Is there? What's the uh, point of the cedar oil in it? Yeah. Is this just for the smell? Uh, slightly for the smell, but it also kind of works as a balancing as well, too. There are a few chemical makeups of cedar wood oil itself that help to extend the shelf life of the actual product. So beeswax itself, like if you were to leave beeswax up by itself, like this thing would be shelf stable 40, 50, 60 years, no problem. It might collect a little bit of dust, but other than that. But then for the liquid coconut oil, liquid coconut oil has a shelf life of approximately eight to 10 years or so. So it pretty much just works as kind of like a vitamin D would work in some products as well too, where it acts to like extend the longevity of the product. Right. Yeah. 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 Y
Where does cedar oil come from? Cedar oil. Uh, so it's, it's Himalayan cedar oil. So it comes from literally from a company that's based out of what? <laughs> yeah. Is it? The book of oil that you mix with beeswax. Does it have an odor? It doesn't. No, I wish that I brought a sample with me here today, but there is literally the coconut oil is an oil, like an odor free product. So you can't smell it. It wouldn't smell it. Have you ever used coconut oil before? How it has that aroma to it? Liquid coconut oil doesn't have that same, like, uh, that same scent to it. Okay. Yeah? Um, with the beeswax, what's the rule of thumb when you might need to um, reapply it? That's a good question. It depends on how often you use it. So let's say for the example board that I'm passing around here. So it's been so it's been 48 hours since I reapplied to half the board, but I had done it originally about six months ago, and I used it daily, washed it daily. Well, I didn't use it. I should say I washed it daily, and the, the finish lasted for about two and a half weeks or so. But that's hot water, soap and water, and before I had to reapply. So so when you're looking at it, yeah. What do you see as the change to prompt you to put more on? And, well, so as you start to see the boards start to fade a little bit, so okay. that comes really with age. Okay. Like if a if cutting board's a year old, you're not going to really have to worry about reapplying it. But if it's you know three, four, five, ten years old and it starts to wear, the colors start to wear a bit. That's where having that product really comes in. But it's generally a good idea to make sure that you're always finishing these uh, finish by refinishing cutting boards too, because it helps to extend the shelf life. Where do you get this? Where, where do you get? It? Oh, oh, which you today or do you have a website? So yeah, we do have a website. Like I've got a bunch of beeswax here today for sale. Like I've got a crate full of it, and same thing, a crate full of the um, the wood wax also. If you want to look to the final slide for a second, there, I've got uh, the pricing and everything like that out there. So you can order from us now. You can take one of my cards and order from us online, cash, credit, uh, ID transfer. If you'd like to, either way does that. So strictly online. Strictly online right now, yes. We are in a few stores, so Abundance in Whitby, we're in there right now. We have Pajolo in Bowmanville, and then we're in the process of getting into the stores. Yes, sir? I have a silly question for you. No such thing. Coconut. Yes. Is it in the nut bag? That is a great I was waiting for somebody to ask that question. Uh, coconut oil is not. No, it's considered a fruit. So it's, it's interesting, if you look at allergies, especially with the prevalence of food, and no, not allergies specifically, so things like almonds, walnuts, cashews, things like that, people are allergic to the protein in the nut itself. Whereas coconut, because it's a fruit base, it doesn't have that same protein, so it doesn't affect people the same way. Now having said that, people that are allergic to nuts, they could potentially also be um, allergic to, the, uh, to coconut itself. But that's if they're eating raw coconut, not a refined product. How long would, how many applications, let's say of a, a butcher block or a cutting board, would would 150 mil last? How many, so, how many boards would you be able to do? Something like this. Uh, the cutting board example that I had thrown out there, you could probably apply it to that 50 or so times before you have to worry about replenishing. Yeah, oh, okay, here, whatever. Put it on the right side So we went to Michael's and we, she wanted to make a candle. So we started making smoke candles. And then I ended up looking into how to make different things. So I'm naturally, like my skin is set, like hypersensitive to a few things, like eczema, psoriasis, things like that. So I looked at how to make scrubs and soaps, soaps specifically, and we got into soaps. And then got into different like hair oils and hair products and things like that for guys. And then it was just kind of a natural progression from there. So after we started making hair wax, I made some great connections with local apiaries, and then that's where the beeswax ended up coming in. And then we have this great beeswax, and it's like, well, what else can we do with it? And I made a connection with Robin Wayne for the Woodworking Club, and that's how this product was born about a year and a half ago. Yeah? Uh, some of the wax I got from your, your capsule. Yeah. It turned a little white on the outside. It, it could just be dust at that point. So like if it's depending on how it where it's how it's stored, but like if you were to cut it down and remelt it again, that'll go away. So, yeah. Yes. There are new about wax is in a lot of finishes. 
Fair enough. Yes, Carnival is also there as well too. It's a very expensive type of a wax, okay. but it's not obviously it's not animal animal based technically. So if you look at it, it is a it is a plant based wax. So there isn't really much difference in the properties from Carnival versus beeswax. So they both hurt up the same. It's just a preference of whether you want something that's plant based or if you don't mind something that is yeah, animal based. Sorry, what is paraffin? Paraffin, Ooh, paraffin is similar to mineral oil. It's a byproduct of petroleum. What are your blocks on? So the beeswax, good question. So this little guy here is a quarter pound of beeswax, selling it for five bucks. This is a half pound of beeswax, going for eight. And then if you want to go for a full pound, it's 14, whether you mix match, whatever the case may be. Any other questions, guys? Any other questions, Al? Thank you.